Good day, my name is Braden, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install your Sabre Retail software. So, over here we've got the installer. Just going to double click over there and say yes. So what this will do is it will obviously open the installer and start the installing process. What you're going to do is you're going to say next. You're going to keep this file path as the same as this is the default file path it needs to send to. Say next and next. I'll create a desktop icon just so that I can easily access and install. So what this will do is it will now obviously just install all the necessary files onto your computer for Sabre. And we'll get a few other prompts afterwards as well. Okay, so there's the saver icon that's just appeared on the desktop, as well as the two others. And from here, what we get is the next part of the installation. So, we're just going to click Next. I've already got a previous version installed, so I'm going to overwrite it and uninstall it before installing again. So, I'm just going to say Yes. And Yes again. And then I'm going to install. But I will restart my computer later. You can say OK to these. These are just making sure that the correct registries are put into your Sabre. I'm not going to launch the update. I'm going to launch Sabre straight away. So I'll just untick that. You can tick that though if you want the update to go. And then I'm just going to launch Sabre. So what this will do is it will obviously open and it will open with the registration form when it is a new install. All you're going to do is you're going to fill out all the necessary info that you need, such as all your company details, the amount of employees you need, uh, your operator seats, as in how many people in the company will be using Sabre at one time, as well as how many biometric devices you're using. These are all the extra little peripherals that you can select. And then you've got your different license types. So your basic, which is your free to use, your light version, and your full time and attendance version. Once you've done all of that, all you're going to do is you're going to submit the license form to email. And what that will do is that will send us a little notification as well to help you get registered and on your way into using the software. So, other than that, that is pretty much all there is in terms of installing your Sabre software. Thank you.